Like my some dude I work with will do something like petty or mean. He's like, I'm on my Carlos shit. I'm like, yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I mean, I think he has a very valid point. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you, you be doing some stuff like, yeah, I'm on my Carlos right now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Herbal Synergies The Shop. I'm your host, Sinji. With me as always, the sound master, Irby. It's me, Irby. How you doing, Herb? You know, hanging in there. Life living me, you know, I'm smaying. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Yeah. But I don't and see you. I know. I'm invisible. I'm like the wind. Yeah, you know, it's funny as you mentioned invisible because I um, I'm not sure if I ever asked you this question, but I did the question did get asked today at my job. Um if you could have a power, what would it be? Mm. I don't know. The guy's answer was invisibility. Hmm. Why invisibility? I didn't care enough to ask. Dang. That's <laughs> I was, terrible. I was focused on I was focused on the one I picked. Yeah, sounds about you. Yes. And I was mm-hmm. trying to weigh the pros and cons of like teleporting. Mm-hmm. And and I was just like, all right, so like my thing is It'd be flying or teleporting, just so I can eliminate the need of travel. Um, Damn. Or, like, the difficulties of travel. So, like, flying, um, not having to wait in traffic, or teleporting, I could just be wherever instantly. Now, the cons I was thinking, because, like, I don't think anybody, like, really thinks of, like, the cons too much so like how how realistic or like how unforgiving is teleporting gonna be like um if someone's standing in the spot that i want to teleport to what one of the three scenarios is gonna happen am i gonna teleport inside that person and possibly kill them um am i gonna teleport above that person because you know something's in the spot so it's just gonna put me like right above it and then like fall on them or am I gonna like teleport to the next safest spot? Like I don't, I don't know how like that would be controlled. Well, most animes you look at, they when they do teleportation, it's either they land in the spot or it's either they land above and then they they fall down to the ground. So those are your, most realistically your two options. And then with the flying thing, I was like, yeah, I mean, flying sounds cool, but like. Wouldn't I have to like? What about the bugs that my car was protecting me from going eighty miles an hour? <laughs> if you fly high enough, you're not gonna get bugs on you. Really? Yeah. They don't go high. Yeah. Well, if you if you're going up in the mountains, then they would get high. But if you um, if you stay close to the ground, you're gonna get the bugs. But if you, I think you fly like what fifty feet in the air, you'll be fine. Oh. Superman never got no bugs on him. We don't know. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, flying, no bugs. You could just wear a windshield, um, a, a face mask. I could, like a, a motorcycle helmet. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. That'd be an option. Yeah, so it wouldn't be too much uh, to worry about with them, I feel like. Yeah, flying's always been like, uh, like, yeah, hey, hey, let's fly. I don't care about super strength. I just want to, like, be able to just go where... Fly like an eagle. Fly like an eagle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, like a mm. sand or Superman. Mm. Yeah, you would. But teleporting would be nice, too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I probably would go teleportation myself. Be easier. You just, but then it, you get bogged down in the thing. Is it like teleportation where you um line of sight teleportation, or is it you have to visit the place first and then teleport? 
See, I always looked at it, um, when I pictured teleporting, I always pictured the movie Jumper, where, like, you just need a visual of where you want to be, so, like, a photo on the internet would work. Interesting. Yeah, have you ever seen that movie? I have. Yeah. With Angelina Jolie and Professor X, when he could walk. I, I guess... <laughs> yeah, we, I was making a joke. I was. <laughs> was Angel jo- An- was Angelina Jolie in Jumper? Or are we talking? I'm wanted? There, yeah, she was a wanted. Yeah. I was just like, I don't remember. Like, I know I'm not good with faces, but like, I know who Angelina Jolie is. Yeah, I was thinking about a different movie. Yeah, Jumper is the. Guy who teleports in Samuel Jackson is chasing him. Yeah. Good old Samuel. Love me, but, Samuel Jackson. Yeah, he's he's a great actor. I think I don't think he gets uh, enough appreciation. Yeah, you don't get enough appreciation. Me? I think you're right. I get I think I get appreciated for the wrong things. Mm-hmm. People like credit me for like them being able to be me, and I'm like, bro, that's <laughs> yeah, that's full on you. I don't deserve that. Yeah, like my deserve it all. Some dude I work with will do something like petty or mean. He's like, I'm on my Carlos shit. I'm like, yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I mean, I think he has a very valid point. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. You, man. you be doing some stuff like, yeah, I'm on my Carlos right now. <laughs> yeah. The amazing part, like he'll say that, and then like he'll still be surprised every time I say I like I come, I come at it from the side, but sideways. Yeah, like, like boys in the day, sitting sideways, boys in the day. But do you have a flavor this week, Kirby? I do. I'm gonna go with the Todoroki family saving Toya. I mean, saving's a stretch, but like, it, it, it is a good moment. <laughs> He stopped him from uh, killing himself. That, yeah, yeah. It's just feel like we I just need to. I, I listen. I read that. Fight. I didn't watch it. I read it. But I think we need to redefine the word saving. <laughs> yeah, I mean, save is you know keep someone from the ultimate harm. So I see I where like- it applies to this situation. I'm just saying, like. I don't know. That he's probably still gonna get locked up. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah listen, so. it, it's deserved. Yeah. Had a huge Sasuke temper uh, tamp- uh, temper tantrum. Yeah. The show did. But, Although uh, Endeavor did kind of like treat him like shit. That whole his whole villain saga probably could have been changed if Endeavor was like, "Hey, buddy." You're incompatible with your quirk. You can't use it, or else you're gonna burn yourself out and die. And then, that's crazy uh, that like you can be incompatible with a quirk. Yeah, that whole thing could have been saved if he just said that. Which I thought that from the beginning. I'm like, I'm like, if he's not compatible, just tell the boy. Yeah, because like, like, hmm. What if all like uh, what what do you, what do they call them in that world? The people who like have quirks that change their appearance. I forget what they call them. Like, what if that was just like them not being completely compatible with the quirk, so like it altered their appearance? Mm. I don't know. Because there's not many situations where like people are like Toya, where like their quirk isn't. Going meshing well with their body, so like I, it has to. It, it seems to be rare, um, but I guess I was trying to find a case where, like, it wasn't that rare. It was just he had a quirk that burned him instead of changed his body. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm, I was like, mm. I was like, he definitely could have said, hey, kid, you're going to die if you keep using a quirk like this. Yeah, I honestly thought they were all going to die. I was like, ooh. I guess, yeah. I, hold on. I guess the whole family's about to get dropped. Well, I knew as soon as Todoroki and um, Ingenium was on their way there, I was like, oh, they ain't going to die. 
I don't know, man. Listen, listen. I I feel like I knew we were towards the end. And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what kind of balls is, of- <laughs> I don't know what kind of balls this creator has, but <laughs> we could murk this whole family right now. I thought we was towards the end, like fifteen episodes ago, when um they first started fighting. Uh, oh boy! Uh, but you then, know, you gotta have the long drawn out war. You don't have to have no long drawn out war. I mean, how long did the the Great Ninja War last? Yeah, but that was fun. Yeah, and the freaking Wano lasted two and a half years. Yeah, that one should have ended like fifteen episodes. Fifteen episodes. That's a lot of content to digest. Yeah, I mean, episodes like thirty minutes episode. Could you imagine how short One Piece would be if like Luffy wasn't a pirate? Like he didn't have a crew that like everyone needed to fight. It was just he was the main character. That's it. I mean, they could do that now, but they just you know ain't doing it. They're on break, by the way. I don't know if you saw the news. Nah, I don't pay no attention to One Piece. On hiatus until April of 2025. Yeah, I pay zero attention to One Piece. That one was for all the One Piece fans out there. Find something else to watch for uh, a few months. Yeah. I would say the, um, yeah. Don't pay no attention to them, but it was, uh, yeah. Um, definitely was like, yeah, I was all right, this should be coming to head soon. And every time something was, I was like, it's coming to head, it was like, nope. We got something else to do. Um, I don't want you. You have a little bit to go. Yep. So I feel like there are like how do I want to say it? Um, it's not. I don't. I don't. I feel like it's not really based on the UA class, like our crew. I. I it's, I think it'd be easier to describe it as every one of the villains gets like a a showing out, like a backstory why I am the way I am. Yeah, I before yeah, so like, and then obviously like to end it, you have to end with um. All my fighting, uh, all for one. Yeah, one for all versus all for one. Yeah. So, until you see that that fight happening, you're not really. Oh, it's about to happen. It is about to happen, and it's actually like uh, it's a. It's gonna be lengthy. I feel like. They're gonna. Yeah. I think they're gonna draw it out anime wise. They might. Sometimes you just gotta let that thing go. You uh, listen. I I hope you remember what you just said. Yeah. But they go on, they keep drawing it out. I'm like, God, Lee, hurry up and finish. I mean, we we all said that about Jujutsu. Um, what else took like a while though? I feel like Jujutsu definitely overstayed its welcome because I'm like, you're, you're killing off everybody. Like, is there going to be anything left after this? Like, what are you going to do? I feel like Jujutsu had a lot of unnecessary fights at the end like you didn't need to throw half of those people you did at sakuna like maki i understand maki every anyone else other than yuta maki and um yuji was just you, you were doing too much you were stalling for no reason we already knew how how strong sakuna was and how much of a pain in the ass it would have been to do it because of like he killed gojo so, like, I, I feel like you didn't really need to soup him up that much. Like, uh, I feel like you could have you could have made the Gojo fight in a way where, like, Gojo really did a number, wore him out. And you needed Maki, Yuta, and Yuji to finish it off with Nabara doing her nail thing at the, like, the least expected. It, it, they definitely, like, dragged it on for multiple different fights for no reason. And then it just ended and you're like... What? <laughs> like, yeah, and then it was just like, all right. That, I mean, you didn't really give me any substance at the end. <laughs> you could have just ended it after um, they killed him. Basically, it would have probably been a better ending. 
just would allow everyone to think their their own thoughts about who's fighting who, what's going on with what, and they could just make their own Indians up be happy. Yeah, I mean, I I I hope the at the end of the day, I hope the author is just happy with what they're putting out because um, that's what I want to feel like at the end of the day. I like, I think I. I think I'm going to do what I told you I was going to do and just pull the plug on where I'm currently at and, like, try to find a different way. Because I'm at the point I feel like um, it, it's taking so long and things keep changing on their end so much that, like, I feel like I, I'm going to end up putting something out there that I'm not happy with. Yeah. And the, like, obviously any publicity, any exposure is good exposure, but, like, the amount of effort, even though it looks very amateur the way it was written, the amount of effort I actually put into it um, wouldn't be in display. And I want the people who do eventually take it in to take it in for what, how I intended yeah. So I I hope I hope that not just that creator but all creators, you know, at the end of the day, they're content with what they put out. Yeah. Like Attack on the uh, Attack on Titans uh, creator. Listen, I I know a lot of people didn't like that ending. Uh, personally, I liked it, but like you gotta. <laughs> You gotta you gotta let it be sometimes. Man. That's what you that's what you put out there. Let it let it ride. It came out with like two did two different endings. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Oda should have just let the One Piece characters um well let the One Piece in, but he's like, oh, everyone loves it. I'm bringing it back. Nah, dog. You should just let it die. <laughs> the ultimate fan service. Yeah. Should just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Nah, let me stop. I love One Piece. Mm. I'm glad you do. I do. I do. I do. Um, also, love Bleach. Love Naruto. Love Dragon Ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You look like you would love them. What does that mean? Nothing, dog. Nothing at all. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Are you trying to... <sighs> not trying to do anything. I'm just trying to talk anime. I wanted to, I wanted to pull a Karen, but I, I don't remember the words. I don't remember what it would be called. Yeah, just go ahead and uh, say your flavor and keep it moving. My flavor? Um... My flavor is a little bit of a negative, uh, if I had to be honest. Um, so, my flavor is in Dragon Ball Daima that is now out, everyone. They changed the reason that the Patara rings, like Goku and Vegeta, defused. Do you remember why they unfused? They said that it was only because uh, um, you have to be a Kai for it to do it. Right, right. So if you are Kai and you use them, it's permanent. And that yeah. is canon. That is said verbally in the anime. That's even said in the game. But in Daima, when you first see uh, Supreme Kai and Kabito, they're not fused. And they said... Apparently, Majin Buu has some type of gas inside his body um, that undo- undoes the effect of the tar rings, and that's why you and Vegeta um, unfuse. So we just had Buu absorb us and then spit us out. And I was just like, ooh, that's... um, I don't know if Akira wrote that part, or that was just... I feel like sometimes it's just... Just someone just forgets the exact reason, or they, or they had that reason head why they did it, and just, they just roll with it because, um, yeah, like I'll, I'll do this one book, and I'm like, 
it just feels like eight different writers are writing different things at different times. Because I'm like, y'all literally said he couldn't summon this thing, and then two two chapters later, you're like, oh, he could summon this thing now. And it's like, what? Like, it just makes no sense. And that so everyone that was my problem with the editing of my book. Like, it felt like multiple different people were like looking at it and putting in their ideas. And I was like, bro, like, I hope you guys know, like. This, go write your own book. You want to use your own ideas. This is editing, not redoing. Editing. Oh my god. So yeah, I, I see what you mean, and like that might be the case. But like, very simple solution to that. If you're gonna do a project this big, because Dragon Ball is big. Dragon Ball is huge. Dragon Ball is considered. Um, to a lot of people consider Dragon Ball like the father of anime the godfather of anime the thing they got the whole thing rolling on the manga community um and whatnot what what basically got it popular if you're gonna do a project as big as creating a side series it's supposed to be canon i i think don't quote me on that but the least you should do is at least re-watch Maybe not everything, but the material you're going to be building upon. Yeah. That's all. That's 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 just my thought process. Like like with solo leveling, because like the, the create the creator solo living is dead. So like the anime is completely just by whatever company owns it. Um they're they're letting it happen. But like I I I've said it to you before, it feels like they're Doing it from the light, the from the um, comic, and not they didn't pay any heed to the light novel, because if you read the light novel or even listened to it, you'd know that the system has a voice. But if you were just going off of the comic, the manhwa, you just read what the system's saying. You don't know it's saying it. Yeah. That's all. Um. Well, since we're on the topic of Daima, um, would you like to know what Daima is about? Sure thing, boss man. Uh, Daima is about um, the demon realm. It takes place right after the Majin Buu saga. Um, some twerpy dude that almost looks like that that pink guy that Beerus tried to pass off as super strong and Goku wanted to fight him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. he almost looks like him, and him and Supreme Kai's brother and sister are all in the demon realm, and the guy that looks like the scrub, um, since he watched Deborah get defeated, Majin Buu get defeated, um, Babidi died, he had the idea of like taking over the demon king realm, but he didn't want the Z fighters to become a problem, and that's why they're kids in this um in this uh anime he gathers the dragon balls that he saw on his hd tv and summoned shenron to turn them on to children and i a, a funny moment was like when he was doing his wish he was like he said like i want everyone who who participated in taking down boo to be turned into children and shenron was like what about the people who are already children <laughs> And the dude's like, you're oddly specific. I'm like, that's a valid question. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense because um, go, what Goten and Trunks were, they had a hand, kind of, sort of. They, they Didn't get, they give them energy? Yeah, they, yeah, they were fucking up um, Super Boo, so they got exor- absorbed. Yeah, they got too uh, big for their britches. So, but yeah. I mean, it makes sense because that's the the one place where everything took like a time lapse, right? The demon realm. Well, like after Majin Buu, um, the world went to like a a slumber. Mm-hmm. Because Pan Pan wasn't born yet. Nope. And they just started dating, and then now next time we seen Pan, she was like five or six. So they have five or six years to play with. Yes, yes, they do have five or six years to play with. Um, there are some. Uh, well, no, I don't think 
Pan. I think Pan and Super is. Oh, I think you're you're talking about Super uh, Current Pan, like in the superhero movie, right? That just came out. Like the the GT. Well, she's she's like, she might be four. So they have like four to six years to play with. See, I don't think sure. they have four to six years to play. I think they have more like. Um, I don't know what the timeline is, but there is a, po- a moment in like Super where like Videl is pregnant, so like it has to be before then. Oh uh, yeah, um, yeah. I don't know, like three years, two, three years. To say that much, because she does have to have the life of the Super Saiyan in her. Mm-hmm. So, oh, and Goku we- took a snub at a Vegeta because for some reason. Uh, I think it was Trunks' birthday, and they were like, "Oh, you're still kind of short." Like, and Goku was like, "Oh, Sansone hit the growth spurt to like they're around four, thir- uh, fourteen, fifteen, around there." Um, yeah. And then he was like, "But it looks like Vegeta never hit that growth spurt." <laughs> yeah, he just took a random. He just took a random uh, shot at Vegeta for no reason. I was like, "Damn, Goku out here." He was on his Carlos. He used to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was on his Carlos. When Goku had morals when he was a kid. <laughs> That's when Goku had morals. Yeah. And then he became a fighting junkie. Show enough. Oh, yeah. You remember that? You remember Goku used to fight just to protect people? He wasn't actively seeking the fight. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess you say his personality changed when he grew up. The sand blood got some of that sand blood some. kicking, yeah, yeah. But yeah, all right. Now, uh, shall we move on to wand and sword? We can move on to wand and sword. Or, or do you have more to say about DBZ? No, I don't have too much more to say about Dima. I mean, I'll I'll be starting the next episode um at some point this upcoming. Weekend, maybe. Yeah. You might. Who knows? Don't tell him what you'll do. What you won't do. We'll see. But yeah. Um, I was going to say, yeah. So, Wanda's Sword was a good episode. This week, they they showed all the good stuff. Um, I forget the guy's name that showed up, but he looks oddly close to that guy's roommate. Oh, uh, the guy that will. Oh, the one that like he sends from far away with the king or whatever. The yeah, I was like, oh, he he kind of looks like that. His roommate. So I was like, oh, his, I was because because his roommate was there, and um, the the what you call him was there, and I was like, oh, kind of looks like him, but it wasn't really him. He was real short. But all in all, I think it was a good episode, a good way to to end it. I just we did, learned a lot about this. Hmm? Did I was gonna ask? Did you have maybe the same question about that guy that I had after his conversation with the principal? Yeah, and how she had a little bead of sweat rolling down her face. I was like, oh, why? Why does he make her nervous for? I was more on the line of. When he said, like, why are you nurturing a sword when that's my domain? Um, Something along those lines. And I was wondering, is there, like, a whole different era with, like, people who are just talented in the sword? Like, are we going to get a merger next season? Yeah. um, I, I was thinking that there are, like, two possibilities with with the folks because the sword is like meant to protect uh, folks. And then I was also thinking about how probably mages go into battle in, in groups with two. And you know how there was a, a mage, what's that girl the mage that use electricity. Mm-hmm. I feel like her family were probably one that merged spell and sword first, but without they. They found a reason not to have a, a, a stone sword anymore, if that makes sense. So they did away with like their their sword counterparts. So they're just like, yeah, we're strong enough. We don't need you. So that's why they were 
close quarter mages, which makes sense because Will is a close quarter mage using sword. So, hmm, I can see that theory being a thing. Yeah, but we we don't know. I I am excited that there's a season two. So theoretically speaking, okay, it can it let's let's put let's give your theory some weight. Um, it can be one of two things. Her family, because remember, they like she openly said like even though they're the top, they're in their seventh year or whatever, so they're technically all the all the rejects. Yeah. Uh, um. So. I, I'm thinking it's like one of two things. Like maybe her family really is like the strongest of them all because they um use both technically one and sword, close quarters and whatnot. I mean they don't they don't they don't have a sword, it's just uh Magical manifestation of what appears to be a sword. Oh, okay. So let's eliminate that and like go to my other one. And now the only one, maybe it's just been lost over the years. Like the family does close combat because like that's the abilities they've been passing down. But like somewhere along the line, like they, a long time ago, they were working with sword, like you said. And then like, sword just faded out and like the generations that came after just slowly forgot about the swords and now they can't access their full potential yeah or something happened where swords just weren't being born or or people lacked the gene or whatever and and now they can do it oh that can also be a thing like what if will was like one in a every hundred thousand yeah or like or like somehow like people Maybe they they hate them like dwarves and whatnot, but like dwarves where they're they're sword, but they forgot about it. So now it's yeah, the realm like the blood doesn't mix or whatever to give them swords. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So interesting so, yeah. theories. Interesting theories. I this I feel like. This is one of the animes that, like, it, it pops up on Instagram enough. Like, uh, this will probably get a second season. It does have a second season. It does? Yeah, it's been confirmed. Oh, nice. Nice. It's, it's at the end of the episode. Oh, it did say that. Yeah. Production I, I confirmed now. based on the second season of TV anime. Noise. Yeah, and so it's, um... Yeah, so I'm I'm excited for it. I can't wait to see it. Uh, Bull's out going back to doing stuff. I want to learn more about his abilities and that whole other clan of folks that are. I mean, then, then again, also it makes sense because Will he explores the labyrinth all by himself and, and he does well. Mm-hmm. And those people from that clan explore the labyrinth and they have contracts with people to help them explore. So I'm like, hmm. Maybe is, but then why is Will born with with darker hair than the yellow guy? Because I think all of them might have yellow hair. Um, maybe spinning out theories here, because Will's yeah. adopted. Will, will, will no, maybe he's not adopted, but like he was an orphan along with homegirl that he's chasing. Yeah. Um. Maybe he is the fruit of a sword and a wand. Yeah, who knows? Sword and wand, and that's why he has no no magical powers. Now I want to know if there's a wand out in a sword school, just trying to be a uh, trying to be a sword. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say no because I feel like they would have mentioned something along those lines already. I, I'm gonna say you're right, but like, I think it'd be funny if it was. Yeah, like not good with the sword, but using I don't know wind magic to get the speed necessary to cut things. Yeah, (laughs) acting like Boji out there, dodging all all the attacks. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, who knows? Be interesting though. 
and then they make it a female <laughs> female uh, swordsman that just wants to use the wand, but she can't. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I enjoyed it, liked it all. It was good. Can't it was wait. great. Yeah, can't wait for it all to come. Go back full circle. Don't know when it'll be back, but hey, um, I'll be ready for it. To spread the love a little, but like still not go deep into it, because I, again, I want your experience whenever you do experience it to be fresh. Um, the second episode of ReZero was just as entertaining as the first. Actually, I would say a more entertaining due to it being straight after, like, um, straight, almost straight to the point. Um, there wasn't no, there was no build up. Um, yeah. which now that I think about it, I remember the first episode of ReZero being that way, where like, uh, Subaru first got teleported into the world, and like those guys mu- uh, mugged him or whatever, or was chasing someone, and like he was he was going throughout the whole town, town, and then like he ended up chasing this this thief or little girl or whatever into this area and then like that's when he met the assassin chick and like died for the first time and then like the next episode was just rinse repeat die 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 but like different ways and it was it was like oh man oh man oh man and like left a lot of questions um didn't answer a lot of them but like it was still entertaining so like this right now, um, without giving away too much, we, we've been introduced to the sin of wrath and the sin of greed, I believe. Or gluttony. It's either gluttony or greed. I forget which one Pedagoose was. Mm, who knows? I think Pedagoose was the sin of greed, so this one is gluttony. Which I always thought greed and gluttony were the same thing, but I guess not. Who knows? Because I don't know. I don't know what I've been told. No? Yeah. No. No. That's fine. Carry on. I sir, carry on. (laughs) Yeah. uh, Let's see here. I did start. I finished up. Why does no one remember me in this world? Yeah, it was it was okay. I don't think it's gonna second season. Um, I think just go lead, just lead them to like, um, leave them to their own devices. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm just like, yeah, it's alright. I might be one you watch it sometime. Yeah. I might watch it. But I think might. it's on my. I think it's on my list. Yeah. I have a yeah. List. I mean. Yeah, if you watch it, fine. If you don't, just whatever. Uh, I was, I was like, oh man, I need to watch this one because it was good. I just was like, ah, I need something to watch. Then the den was pretty good this week too. Watch that. Um, yeah, they they brought a new character in and she was interesting and I was like, oh okay. <laughs> and so now you get. To, another character dynamic and you get to see it, see how they interact. And it's pretty, pretty, pretty funny at times. Um, but yeah, so good my, show. My anime list for the next 10 weeks, um, 10 to 11 weeks is pretty extensive. Um, I, I don't particularly like that. It's too much to keep track of. Some some of them might have to get dropped out until later on. But the problem is, like, if I if I drop something, it's hard to pick it up. Like, I dropped Spy Family, saying I'll watch it later. I never watched it later. Um. So like right now, right now, right now, right now, if we're not counting JoJo's, because I gotta watch JoJo's, um, hey. my weekly commitments right now. Though they're not commitments, but like the things I want to keep track of weekly: solo leveling, the Prince of Tennis, Blue Lock. Afarita, um, I think I said that wrong, but guys, Afarita. yeah, new season dropped. Um, Bleach, I didn't even last season, Bleach, and Re Zero. Um, that's that's six right right off the bat that like, hey, make time for you know what I mean. And then I have to like, I have to avoid starting something else. 
that has like a season done because if I do and I really like it, then I'm not gonna make enough time for JoJo's. Like that's 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 another thing. I have to make time for JoJo's. I want to get to the point where I I'm like, oh, I want to I want to watch the next episode. I want to see what happens. You stop right short before it started getting like that. Well, good because like if I got there, then the I didn't hour. have time. I'd be annoyed. So like, I'm gonna ha- I'm gonna have time. And I'm gonna make time. People make time for things they want to do. I, I want to do this. I'm gonna make time for it. Mm, I believe it when I see it or hear it. Mm, I might hear it. You might. I might not hear it. You might not. But yeah, Dan to Dan's cool. Uh, I also started watching. I've all become a villainous who gets death. Goes down to history as uh, like the, the worst one. Um, yeah, trying to go down history is worst one, but it's 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 kind of funny because she doesn't actually. She thinks stuff is villainous, but it's not really villainous. I'm like, oh, that's actually a good strategy they do every day, and so um, things like that. But yeah, only one episode in. I was like, oh, this looks like it's new. I was like, let me get this a chance. Yeah, so see where it goes from there. But alas, that I think that's it from what I watched this week. Oh, and the other one was um started watching Ergo Proxy, which is it's another out there one. Um like like I don't I don't really know uh how to quantify it, but essentially it's like people are trying to become citizens of uh, this federation and they have to do certain things and federation is sh- does some shady stuff and it just comes through and I'm just like, oh, that uh, seems weird. But yeah, can't get too much into it, but it's it's another one that you're like, what the heck's going on? But like yeah. makes you think in a way. Like, like why are you covering up? I, I love... Don't get me wrong. I love animes to make you think. They're like they're just they're they're not really that much action. Like um, I forgot which one I watched on Hulu that I told you and Pete about a number of years ago. I think it was like Invaded ID or something like that, where like to solve a crime, uh, the dude would get into the, like this machine and like get into the head of uh, either the victim or the the murderer, and he solved it that way. Um, it, there there was some weird cool explanation about it, but like shows like that for me, just to capture my interest, you need to have like something of substance in the beginning. You have to draw me in enough to for me to sit through the the talking part. Yeah, Inspector's probably one you like because like that lady, she's always thinking ahead. I'm like, man. Like, how did you come with that scenario? That is like, on my list as well. Yeah, I, I like that one. I'm waiting for the new season to drop. I was is the like, um, new season confirmed? I have no idea. Hmm. I didn't know the season two was confirmed until they dropped it. I was like, oh, season two. And I watched it. Nice. So, you know what season yeah, two we're probably not getting? What? Talentless Nana. Yeah. Well, they they got a whole manga, so I wouldn't. I probably just would read that. But yeah, that one would have been another one where you're like, man, what? <laughs> you're like, what are they doing? Shit, yeah. I remember when she first threw Homeboy off the cliff. I'm like, yo, he's not the MC. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I thought I this man was the, the main episode, character, bro. <laughs> yeah, the first episode would mess you up. I told you that. I thought this thing was the main character. Yo, and they showed him off like he was cool as shit, too. Like, I have the power to cancel all abilities. Like, all, all, he said, all y'all motherfuckers is useless against him. Yeah. Oh, Cliff. <laughs> and then died, and I was like, wow. I was like, damn, bro, you killed him? That's crazy. First episode, I was like, first episode dead. And that's when I realized she was the one that was the talentless hack. She was talentless. Yeah, but yeah, that's what I enjoyed. That one was that was a good one. Um, yeah, one of the few some ones where I couldn't be like, I was like, oh man, this is nice. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to keep watching this. Did you watch Tomodachi Game? I don't think I did. 
that's that's another one where like the guy is really smart. Yeah. Um, I'll add that to my list to possibly watch. Um, but yeah. um I think you should. I might. It's not it's not um <sighs> it's hard to explain because it, it's been a while, but like it's one I'm like, ah oh, man, I wish there was a season two. Uh, just because, like, you, you, you I don't want to say halfway, it definitely wasn't halfway, but like at some point, the dude like reveals his, his, the motives are not what you think, I, I want to say. Mm hmm. And like, once it, once it goes all into play, it's like, oh, oh my, it, ooh, okay, all right. You're like, oh man, it Pick was very enjoyable. Go. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That that's all. I'll think about that one. Because um. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. You got um. You got anything else for me? Nah, I got nothing for you. I also have nothing. Mm, you smell like you got nothing. I hope I smell clean. So I just mm, took a nope. shower. You smell like you've been running around in mud all day. Damn. How'd you guess? Kinda I will. Wild. I will. I, let. I'll end this uh, episode with a funny story, completely non-related to anime. So today we learned that if it came down to it, and um, it was if it came down to it, and someone tried to attack my. At, at the very least, my wife, because this is what it ha what um, who it happened to, my dog will run. <laughs> mm. So I got home and she took him out and he they didn't see me get to the door, but I knew they were outside. So I hid behind some trees with like my sweater around my face and like my dog saw me and I thought he like recognized me through like scent and whatnot. Because he was staring in my direction. And when he got closer, he was growling and barking. So, like, it was like, oh, he doesn't recognize me. And then play around with him. And, like, I was still, like, covered face from a distance with my hoodie. And he was, like, barking, like, you know, big dog voice. Man, I ran towards this dog with my face covered. And he ran the fuck away. <laughs> he tried to yeah. drag my wife. He almost took off his harness. I don't know how he managed to get a paw free. But he said... It's you or me, and I'm choosing me. You can come with. If not, I'm ripping this thing off. <laughs> this man is crazy. How dare you? <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> How dare you? I'm over here sharing. sharing cool story, over. bro. I'm over here sharing <laughs> my day with you. Oh, my ears. Oh. No, nah, just kidding. No, nah, it's um, yeah. They there's a whole clip of uh dogs that they didn't um, they broke into the people's houses and then they would see how the dog act and nine times out of ten the dog just kind of like root barked and like ran away a little bit. <laughs> so fucking dog. Yeah. I love that little bastard, but damn, bro, would you going to leave us hanging like that? Yeah, he definitely was like, he was like, not today, Satan. He said, what does God love to tell the tale? Yeah, bro. And I, the crazy part, I know he got strong teeth because I can't break this. Um, You know those mint bones? Yeah. We the freeze green. them. Yeah, we freeze them so he ha he can chew on it a little longer. Um, And he, he breaks it. He bre I can't even cut the thing with a knife, but he breaks it easily with his teeth. I'm like, I know you got strong teeth. That's crazy. You wouldn't, yeah. You ain't want to protect my wife. What are he going to do? He, I don't he know. He is. He is. He's small. <laughs> yeah. He, he going to get. Barking and growling was football. all he had in him. If it didn't work, he was like, oh, I, I did the best I could. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and she dies. She dies. Yeah. Not, not much you can do. It's a big, bigger adversary. Uh, but that, that was my story. Um. Unless you got anything else, we can go and clear this up. 
Nope, I got nothing. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.